Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to SV Hydra and another episode. Well, today is a pretty decent Sunday. Getting lots done. We've got the stern ready to start and uh, put on our little toy there. That blue thing on the stern, that is for the Salem at 601D wind vane. So that'll go on. As you can see, I have got tools everywhere because I don't believe in cleaning up until the end of the day. I added the extra support on the rear stanchion, which I've yet to do on the other side because I wanted to see how that fit. I wasn't sure whether to put it there or in that back corner there. I've left it at a length where it'll go either. So from there, I decided to go on a bigger job and decided to put in the, where is it? The Lumar Pro Range Windlass. This is the Lumar 1000 Pro 1000 Windlass. For those of you who aren't sailors really and watching the channel because you want to see me die or come close and just barely make it uh, the windlass is what you use it's an electric motor to lift your anchor your chain and your road now what is road well road is rope but when it's used for your anchor, it's called road. When it's used to lift a sail, it's called a halyard. When it's called to trim a mainsail or your jib sail, it's called a sheet. So a rope can have three different names. Anyway, so what we have done with mega, mega effort is drilled a three inch hole in the center and one, two, three holes on the outer edges for the long bolts to go through. And the two little side-by-sides are for the positive and negative wires to go through. Why they wouldn't just couple that into one bigger round thing, but the template said to do it that way. And I'm doing what the template says. Now, what's really bizarre here on this vessel is with the bow being sharp and short there's not a lot of room for a bow roller so you'd say well doesn't everybody mount their windlass in the middle well yes most people do but not always on sailboats so i have chose to put it off to the right because you'll notice on the right hand side of my furler drum which is this black thing there's just enough room for this to slip it slip in up under there and get uh, bolted or I think I'm gonna tack weld it down since we're working with steel and uh, have that hanging over just enough to carry my 30 kg anchor over the side which is a very very big anchor by the way so the Lumar is there and just to give you a little better look at it, I flip it over after I remove these vice grips. And that's where your chain grabs on that pulley or your road. And that sits there and with a switch in the cockpit or I have remote controls, it will lift your anchor up or let it out so pretty much that's what we've accomplished today uh, depending on time frame we may get these monster solar panels up on the roof which if you come back this way oh by the way if you ever need a fan boundless breeze 12 volt fan for RV for your car for your SUV if you need a fan those things if it's not a windy day that thing would almost push this boat one and a half knot not really but anyway 
great fans. Boundless Breeze. Don't forget, buy yourself a Boundless Breeze. So, looking back here at the roof where the solar panels are going to fit. Definitely room for two uh, large ones up there, no problem. In the center will be my Iridium Go antenna mounted on a 12 inch or an 18 inch pedestal. And then off to the right corner, oops, sorry, hands getting lazy. Off to the right corner will be the wind, well, let's say the port stern corner will be the wind generator on the starboard stern quarter <laughs> will be the radar, the Furno radar system. I thought about putting it dead center up about four foot off of the roof to give it some excellent clearance, but uh, I think it'll be fine. Now, a lot of people say, hey, I don't want, you know, radar that close to my head if I'm in the cockpit. In the cockpit. So what I've done is definitely uh, taken into account the roof and that is uh, definitely going to protect my brain or what's left of it. So that's where we are at today. This is day number four in Privy Glam Camping and uh, Stella's happy to be here. She's having a lazy day today. We've got the Zodiac all trimmed and ready to splash her. I uh, just need to make a bench seat for that, which I just have to cut some starboard that I have left over from the roof project. And that's about all. So just having a look around, guys. Now here is a funny, funny joke. Up this river is, there's some houses that are in the four to ten million dollar range just around this corner and some beautiful boats so a guy comes around the corner i think he's in a leopard 43 catamaran which is made by Benetton, and everybody knows the problems going on there with the lagoon 450s yep the lagoon 450s they're uh they've got serious problems and uh there's a channel that you can watch for that. I don't know if I should get involved in in that. But, uh, yeah, if you Google it or search on YouTube, uh, Lagoon 450 issues, that's a whole nother story. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in so much. Here we are at Dover Marina. Cool houseboat, a beautiful trawler there next to it, and a house to go with it. But uh, yeah, so I guess I can say it the bulkheads, you know, the Lagoon 450 bulkheads. So this uh, big cat was coming by, and I don't think the leopards have any issues, but uh, they were driving by, and I hollered out, Hey, how's the bulkheads on that leopard? And guess what I got? Two big bird fingers. <laughs> Two big bird fingers. Yeah, well, some people can't even take a joke. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. It's been a great day. And uh, looks like we're getting some clouds rolling in. I'd much rather be on the lake, but I'm not. So signing off. And please, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, subscribing to this channel uh, definitely helps me to be able to continue these projects. And yeah, thank you guys so much. Take care, everyone. Be safe. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.